Hello and welcome to this video on time series forecasting, where we will be discussing the vector autoregressive model, better known as the VAR model. So this can essentially be seen as an extension of your autoregressive model. In the autoregressive, we talked about the current value of a certain variable being dependent on its past values. <clears throat> so if we had to consider a real world case, we would realize that, uh, let's say there is a certain stock which we are following in the market and that stock price is given by A, right? So A at time T, if we were to follow a simple autoregressive model of order one, A at time T would be a function of A T minus one, and uh, probably we can give a coefficient beta over here and also add a term to cover the noise. So the idea of a stock being uh, dependent solely on its past value, uh, given the unpredictable nature of stock prices, it's not quite <clears throat> uh, feasible, right? It's not a practical idea. So you, you can talk about that particular stock price being let's say this company is into jewelry making and high-end luxury items, right? Generally, you're talking about high-end luxury items. So the general cost of this may not quite uh, vary in terms of how much people are willing to pay for it, right? You're targeting that kind of a market, but if you are paying less for gold, your Essentially, we say that the gold prices go down, the raw material price goes down, and as a result, our margins for this particular business would be higher. In which case, your stock price should do better, right? Your, your prices of uh, the performance of that particular company will do better in the market. So we can say your AT is also dependent on the price of gold as it moves along. Right. So let's say here's a VAR model now of order one. And uh, our price of the stock is for one dependent on the past value of the stock. And secondly, it's also dependent on the impact of two on one indicates the price of gold at T minus one. Right. And uh, let's say gold also has some kind of a relation to this particular stock price, in which case you would have an equation of this sort where uh, GT minus one and uh, C22 would give you, right, sorry, this would be. A and this would be G, right? So this can be essentially looked upon as a matrix of sorts with your prices of the stock as well as the gold price as a commodity collectively can be seen as this matrix of coefficients, C11, C12, C21, C22, multiplied by the two values at time t minus one, and we can have a general epsilon as the noise. So this essentially is a var model where you are incorporating the impact of an external factor, not just the variable itself, but one or probably multiple factors. Okay, And uh, we can, of course, increase the order of this model, in which case you would have that many more terms or our matrix just expands. So to be clear, yes, uh, your 
luxury item would vary based on the gold price, right? But the gold price may not quite depend so much on the uh, on the on the former. So this is a hypothetical case, but it does explain in terms of how a wear model builds upon autoregressive, right? And uh, gives us something better to work with. <laughs>